Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Thank you very much for clicking on it. I really appreciate it. Today we have a brand new Yena comeback. Uh, just a single album this time, which I'm kind of sad about because her b-sides absolutely slap. But we do have one full b-side and the other song on the album is an intro. Um, but we also have the music video, Love War, featuring B.O. I'm very excited. I have not... I haven't seen any of the teasers. I did listen to a little bit of the highlight medley i didn't do the full thing i just did like a few seconds of each song just to kind of get an idea um and everything sounded great and i was very intrigued so today we're gonna do the music video and we're also gonna do the um the full b side which i've already forgotten the name of wash away um obviously normally all of my album listens happen on patreon but i'm trying this new thing this year where for single albums at least for artists that i very much love and adore um i will try and react to the b-sides along with the music video i've done that before but i want to be a bit more consistent with it but we'll see we'll see how things go anyway very excited for this love yenna let's get into it it's abundantly clear that we are taking a darker turn <laughs> than we have gotten used to with yenna's releases this looks very, very different uh, stylistically from Smiley and Smartphone. Um, but I'm here for it. We know that Yenna is a very multifaceted performer and it's capable of doing whatever the hell she sets her mind to. So I'm very excited to see what this slightly darker side of Yenna looks and sounds like. Like I said, I heard a tiny, tiny snippet of the song in the highlight medley, but when I say it was like three or four seconds, I mean like three or four seconds, like it was nothing. And I can't really remember any details from it, so. I basically feel like I'm going in blind. Sounds fun. Let's do this. Love War featuring B.O. I like B.O. as well. I'm intrigued as to what that feature is going to be like. Anyway, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Wow. Right, yeah, I do remember it being more instrument heavy, like with the guitar and everything and the bass. Oh dear. Sweetie, are you okay? Oh. oh, I wasn't expecting the feature this soon. God, the bass is so nice. That was cool. Oh, it's a long feature. So over, yeah, so over. 
the juxtaposition, my goodness. That's very, very cool. Because it's not just, you know, like a darker side of Yenna, it's a much more mature side of her than we've seen in her solo work so far. And like I said, we all know how diverse and multifaceted of a performer and artist Yenna is and can be. Um, but we haven't really had a chance to explore that in her solo work yet. Um, or even through our eyes one as much. Like, I think the most we've really seen of it is when she's done um, like covers and, and stuff like that. So it's very, very cool to see this in a full comeback. It's a little bit jarring because, you know, this is what we're used to. <laughs> this is very, very different. But it's so cool to see her diving into that side of herself as an artist. Very, very cool. That's it also it also makes it very interesting and exciting for the future because knowing that, you know, we all know that Yenna is one of very few people, I think, that can really pull off the really bright, bubbly, um, happy-go-lucky kind of concept you know she has that natural energy and uh kind of walking talking sunshine kind of vibe <laughs> that makes it possible but the fact that now when she makes a comeback we we don't know what side of yenna we're gonna get it's very exciting like she could show us anything that's very very cool and very exciting I think as far as the song goes, it might take me a minute to fully appreciate it. I think, you know, obviously I was expecting something a little bit darker in sound to what we're used to from her, but it's so different that I think it's going to take me a sec to really fully appreciate it. But I, I can safely say I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, I think her vocals on it sound beautiful. Her voice on this with these melodies, stunning. Um, I love the use of the guitar. There were some keys in there that were gorgeous. Um, it's very laid back or more laid back, I should say, instrumental than what we're used to. Um, and it's, it definitely sits more in the realm of like, KR&B rather than K-pop, you know, like musically. And that's not to say that obviously like it's it's still K it's oh god, now we're getting into this discussion. We're not going to get into this discussion. <laughs> but like, do you know what I mean? In terms of the vibes of the song, it feels like it would be at home if it came from a KR&B artist. You know what I mean? Um which is interesting and very cool. And I really liked the way the feature was done. I wasn't expecting him to come in that early. I guess, like, I just kind of assumed maybe it would be a feature where, you know, maybe come in on the bridge, have a little moment, and then leave. I was kind of expecting that kind of feature, but I'm really glad that it was, like, a full, a full feature. Like, he got that, like, full second verse, and we could hear him throughout the rest of the song as well. I've, I've mentioned a hundred times i think that that's my favorite way for a feature to be done um like like it's more like a collaboration and i really really enjoyed that a lot yeah that one's got me like you know when you hear those songs that just kind of linger and you just like it just it just gets you thinking it's one of those songs Let's go through it one more time. Let me go through it one more time. Um, and then we'll move on and we'll do the B-side. Because I want to... I just, I just need to hear it again. <laughs> I just need to hear it again. Like, yeah, we've got these keys in the back that almost sound like uh, organ-like, which is very cool. I love the guitar and the bass. Like, oh, listen to the bass, man. Like, 
I love this melody here. I love these kind of run on melodies, they're super cool. You know what's funny as well? I feel like if you if you went back in time and played this song, not the music video, but just played the song um, for you know someone, even just like a couple of months ago, uh, I mean, just like guess who this is? <laughs> I feel like so many people would not guess Yena. <laughs> Like, maybe if they were super familiar with her voice, they might recognize it, but I feel like for the most part, people would just be like, um, <laughs> Yena? Uh, who? <laughs> like, you're telling me that song is Yena? Like, smiley Yena? <laughs> you know? It's just, it's great. I love it. I love it when an artist can show off different sides of themselves and it be this good. Yeah, no. Makes me happy. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. These keys, they're not like, they're not like super noticeable, but they're so, I don't know if this makes sense when I say this, but like, they're not super noticeable in the way that like the guitar or the bass is. Um, like they kind of sit a little bit further back in the mix, but there's something so dominant about their presence in this chorus. I love that coat. I need to look into Bio more. Like, I've only heard a few things. But I really like his voice. This feels like a little callback to uh, Smiley with the like frosty makeup. Get the keys. Whoa. Listen, it's not the first time I've heard Yenna curse. <laughs> but goddamn, <laughs> I was not prepared for it. I love this trend. I love this trend in K-pop at the moment. Idols just cussing in their songs makes me happy but yeah you see what i mean like i love that you can hear both of their voices here That is a dark ass music video. Ah, oh, I'm genuinely very, very impressed. I'm very, very impressed. I'm very proud. And I mean, this this goes for all of the Eyes One girls and what they're doing post Eyes One. But like, I'm very proud. <laughs> Just watching them all grow, and develop, and explore their paths as artists in whatever way that is like it's just 
it's very cool and it's very exciting and I love watching it happen. I love watching it happen. God damn, Yenna. I don't even know what my closing thoughts are for this music video. Like, I just... <laughs> even knowing that conceptually this release was a little bit on the darker side, I still was not prepared for that. And just hearing her in this much more... Uh, mature kind of storytelling um frankly like i don't want to i don't think maturity and darker concepts necessarily go hand in hand but like this is a mature concept <laughs> um for a music video that much is abundantly clear um and just seeing her kind of like tackle that and destroy it and really sell it is is very very cool and makes me very excited for the future and what she could bring us sky really is the limit for her and that's very very exciting anyway we have one more song to listen to so we're gonna hop on over and listen to the b-side so let's go so wash away i cannot remember what this sounded like from the little tiny snippet i heard in the highlight medley <laughs> i cannot remember at all um So yeah, I, I genuinely don't know what to expect from this song. Um, it's nearly four minutes long, which I am not accustomed to. I'm going to be honest at this point. Like I've gotten so used to songs being like maybe three minutes. <laughs> but like I'm not used to seeing a song that's nearly four minutes now. Uh, but I'm here for it. So let's see. Wash away. Three, two, one. Go. Ooh. Love the guitar. Let's go vocals. is amazing. those vocals in the back hang on i want to i want to listen to this whole chorus again oh the descending vocals in the background gorgeous Love this. I'm really, really vibrous. This is a fire song. song <laughs> oh 
Oh, there's keys. Hell yeah. You know what? That did not feel like a nearly four minute song <laughs> at all. Ooh, I liked that a lot. I like that a lot, a lot. Like, it's not rare for me to enjoy B-sides even more than title tracks, but <laughs> just based off like, you know, a couple of listens to the title and one listen of this, like there, ooh, ooh, that's, I'm going to be listening to this one a lot. I will probably be listening to the title as well, but I'm going to be listening to this one a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. <coughs> <coughs> oh man. I can't even fully explain why and what it is about that song, but that connected, that connected, that felt good. That felt real, real good to listen to. And those vocals, man. Both her vocals and the vocals in the back. Stunning. And that chorus. What was it about that chorus? I don't know, but the chorus was chorusing and I loved it. Hmm. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I am a fan. Anyway. Um, like I said, I know that there is an intro to the album as well. I will just listen to that one in my own time. Um, but I'm going to end this video here. Let me know your thoughts on the music video, the title track, and the B side. I would be intrigued to know people's thoughts, especially given how different this is for her. Um, how do you like it in comparison to her brighter stuff? Um, yeah, what are people's thoughts? I'm intrigued. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I will end this one here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.